Good morning. More than one-third of Americans will have their email hacked this year, according to a new CNN study. This is Yahoo continues to investigate the largest known breach in history. Tech expert Dave Hatter is here with tips on how you can protect yourself from the growing problem. And, you know, Dave, we've told people change your password. We have some people here in the studio, well, not the studio, the newsroom, who have yet to get around to that. So you put these alerts out and you talk about it, but then sometimes it goes by the wayside. Well, I think a lot of people don't realize what a significant problem this is because it, what, no matter what you get hacked, email is probably one of the most difficult things for you in the long run because people share all kinds of information through email. Things that they might not realize could come back to bite them. Like, for example, let's say that you forget your password for your bank. So you go to your bank, you go through the send me a new password process, right? Well, a hacker that gets your email may not be able to get your credentials, your username and password out of that, but they now know you use that bank for sure. You know, they can assemble a lot of information about you that can be used in a lot of nefarious ways. So it's knowing what platforms and services and so forth you use, which they can then try to hack. They may be able to get usernames and passwords out of there. If they can get your username and password, probably one of the most significant problems, frankly, is many people use the same username, credentials, mm -hmm. on many sites. So if I can get your username and password for Facebook, let's say, and you happen to use that for your bank or other platforms, I now can break in. So I, I know having a strong password, having different credentials on every site is a pain. I, I don't like to do it either, but you really need to do that to try to protect yourself from someone getting you breached in one place and then exploiting that elsewhere. Well, what about the people who have all those great passwords and they're doing the best they can and then we find out that Yahoo is actually looking at people's email and filtering it through and then this being kind of tagged along with the NSA? Yeah, this is a real bummer. Um, you know, so far, Yahoo has been the only company that is known to have done this, but apparently they have actually worked with the NSA directly. They've modified their own software so that the NSA can supply them special filters that they want to search for, and as email is being sent through their email service, they're filtering this stuff real time and then providing that information back to the NSA. Google and Microsoft were asked about it because really Google and Microsoft are probably the two other largest mail providers through Microsoft Exchange and or Office 365 and Google's Gmail platform, and they both came out and flat out denied it. And in fact, Microsoft said they haven't even been asked at this point. But you can bet that if they're asking Google, Yahoo to do it, they're probably asking other people to do it. Yahoo's CEO actually made this decision. Their, their chief security person quit once this became known and because he was against it at the time. And, uh, you know, it's really unfortunate because people don't realize this kind of thing is going on all the time. Okay, so what do you keep in your inbox? What do you delete? Does it even matter at this point if you keep it or don't keep it? Well, that's a good question, Kara, because part of the problem is, you know, Deleting things is kind of a misnomer, right? <laughs> yes. In many cases, things really aren't deletable. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of variables that come into play. But, you know, my, my most basic advice would be don't put anything in any kind of electronic form that you don't potentially want exposed. Certainly, once it leaves your computer, it's fair game. Um, if you send an email, there's no way you can control what I do with it once I receive it, right? You could email me, and then I decide to send it down to Fox 19, and it's on TV tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Um, you need to think about the kind of things you're putting in email, not only because it could potentially be used against you somehow like that, but in these breaches, there's no way to tell what hackers and identity thieves will do with that information. So the best advice besides trying to secure your account, use things like two-factor authentication, which requires like a text or something to log in, you know, a second piece of information you need. Try to limit the surface area of attack on you by only putting stuff in electronic form and sharing it that you really need to. I know it's a pain. I know people don't want to think about this stuff, but every day we see examples where this information is being used against people, and I think a lot of folks still don't really believe the threat can affect them. And, you know, Yahoo, 500 million accounts Yeah, it's hacked. massive. It is massive. Dave Hatter, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll chat with you again. Okay. Always a good reality check. Okay, we're going to send it over to Frank now. He's got to look at the forecast.